welcome to a very windy Adams Park, home of Wickham Wanderers. Today, Soccer AM crew and friends take on the staff and some ex-players of Wickham Wanderers, including the gaffer, Gareth Ainsworth. He's definitely still got a bit, but come join me as we go behind the scenes. This is the entrance. The players come through on a match day. They'll make their way through this area and into the changing rooms. So we are getting changed in the away dressing room and the kits are these bright yellow ones. They were worn in a League Cup match, I believe. And I've gone for this player's shirt, Fred Onyedinma. Decent player. Now we are in the tunnel area. Slogans on the wall. This team wins together, loses together, fights together and stays together. Look who it is. Bayo Akinfenwa with the playoff trophy. This has got to be the gaffers doing rock and roll football. We love the officials room on location football. So it's only right that we have a little sneak peek. Wow. Look at these showers. Lovely, beautiful tile work with the power shower. Here we are in the home dugout. These seats are like nothing I've seen before in non-league football. Very, very comfy. Do you know what? If I played for Wickham and was on the bench, I wouldn't actually mind because these are glorious. All you need to do is put a pound in and away you go. And look at the view. We are playing for the Sanan Cup, which was won by Wickham in 2005 in Ibiza. How are you doing? When was the last time you kicked a football? Uh, about a year ago. Oh, position? Um, left back. Devlin Tago, the one and only. Oh, oh my God. What's this for? <laughs> oh, okay, you won't oh, Of course, mate. This is, welcome to Adam's Park. <laughs> <laughs> When was the last time you played? I played about three or four weeks ago in a friendly, but we've done very little, really. But no one has, have they? Not, not at our level, Curls, anyway. You're still our number one. Yeah. <laughs> Till Big G comes and he's the number one. Yeah, he couldn't make it today. <laughs> Lego Ed. I'm back. <laughs> yes. Tight top. How Didn't are you? Because of ben the Shriden. guns are still bursting out of that. Trying. Look at that. That's got to a medium. Hello, well, he's coping about me mentoring him. Just working out how to leave on the bench, really. It's Tough oh, decision. It's awkward, isn't it? Yeah. Because you, you know, the day before you're struggling for a team, when you're like, yeah, yeah, get yourself down, yeah, and then you end up with too many players, and that's what's happened. I've not played in about a year, <laughs> but I'm really happy to be out with you guys. Kit's a little bit tight, but it's all good. We are relying on you <laughs> massively. You have a Champions League winners medal. None no of us pressure. do. Well, no actually pressure. Well, actually, won here with Arsenal and won a quadruple, won the league cup. you gooners? So I'm hoping to bring some good vibes today. But it's great to be out here. Let me run you through the rest of the Soccer AM squad. We've got ex Wickham and Brentford footballer Sam Saunders, Anton Rogers, fitness trainer Bradley Simmons, the boys from everyone you know, Harvey and Reese, LDN Movements, and of course the gaffer, Fedders.
uh, for 6-2 victory in the end. Happy with that performance? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got a little bit irate at half time. I was telling him that uh, there's a trophy there and I don't want to see Soccer AM celebrating with that trophy. So uh, I wanted to visualise Wickham celebrating with it and at the end we did. Uh, it was a brilliant day, you know, real fun. Football is, uh, is what it's all about, people being together. Just wish there'd been a few fans there, hopefully soon we can get them in. Talk to me about that goal. Listen, Ben has just said there's a bicycle kick going on there <laughs> that I missed. So if he puts that on and doesn't put me chip on, I'll be <laughs> devastated with him. But uh, no, it was, uh, it was a really good good occasion. And uh, hopefully we can uh, we can keep doing it year after year because they're a great bunch. And uh, all my boys watch Soccer AM and, uh, and it, was, uh, it was a great day. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to win an official Meg Nuts t-shirt, all you need to do is follow the instructions on the screen. And remember, stay clever, keep them together.